call themselves the New Frontier. They used to be decent people. Now they're something else. Go, go, go! Get into Richmond! Next time, I'm not gonna sit back and watch. I'm gonna do something. Sorry, forgot to introduce myself. Call me Jesus. I should have told you this earlier. Why didn't you, after all we've gone through? I did whatever I had to do to protect them. Sometimes it's not enough. Today's review is made possible by Telltale Games. What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I'll be doing my review of Episode 1 of Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 3. Episode 1 is called The Ties That Bind. It's a two-part episode and I finished the first half of the episode. I'd like to give you guys a quick review so you can know what to expect when you dive into Telltale's next amazing game. As always, this review will cover story, gameplay, graphics, and sound. Story. In Telltale's The Walking Dead, you take the role of Javier, a survivor of The Walking Dead's zombie apocalypse, as he struggles to stay alive and maintain the safety of his family. After you and your family are ambushed, you're then held hostage and separated from them. After you escape, you're then introduced to a teenage Clementine who has been severely hardened by a tough world that she's been surviving in alone. The harshness of the world seems to have affected Clementine in predictable ways as she is now a seasoned adult survivor in the body of a teenage girl. After coming to an agreement with Clementine, she agrees to lead you back to your family in the hopes that you might arrive in time to save their lives. There were some very surprising moments in episode 1. As always, nobody is safe. Your choices make all the difference in Telltale's The Walking Dead, and from what I've seen so far, there will be huge consequences and benefits from these choices. Gameplay If you played a Telltale game, you know what to expect here. As their games are more of a cinematic experience, the gameplay sometimes takes a back seat to the way the story is presented. The usual mechanics return in this latest installment. Directional swipes as well as button props during quick time events. At times you will have to take aim at incoming enemies and attack them on the fly. The camera is usually in a fixed position and characters still move in a slow pace. But in season 3 they've introduced a new ability which allows the character to run making the player feel more in control of the pace of the game. Graphics the Telltale engine has been under scrutiny for a long time now, and I'm happy to announce that they've upgraded their engine. The characters have a much more polished look. The faces all seem to more easily present expressions, and the eyes look great. Clementine in particular looks great, and the subtle nuance in her expressions and mannerisms makes a huge difference to me. All the characters look much more visually pleasing than they ever have before. All the environments look great, and the walkers look like they've even benefited from the new visual layer presented in the latest Walking Dead game. Sound I always feel slightly uneasy when playing The Walking Dead. The atmosphere created by Telltale through somber tones, ambient melody, and haunting themes once again adds to the overall tension that the game is striving to create in the player. Melissa Hutchinson returns to voice Clementine, and once again she stills the show. All the voice work done in episode 1 has been amazing and the talented cast deserves a round of applause. I love the fact that Clementine is older now which seems so well reflected in the voice acting and in turn makes Clementine seem more real to those who've been following Telltale's The Walking Dead series. Final thoughts on episode 1. Telltale's The Walking Dead season 3 has been long awaited by gamers and fans of the series alike. So far it's been at times beautiful, terrifying and painful for me. I'm looking forward to getting to know the latest round of people to cross Clementine's path and also see what happens to Clementine as the story progresses because we all know that Telltale's The Walking Dead is Clementine's story. If you're a fan of The Walking Dead or you're simply a fan of Telltale's amazing games, I'd say download Season 3 right now. It's looking like there's going to be some bumpy roads ahead for Clementine in the game. I'd like to send a big thanks to Telltale Games for supplying the channel with Season 3 of The Walking Dead as well as the Season Pass. If you'd like to get your hands on this great game, I provided links below for all platforms. Thank you for watching guys. Please leave a thumbs up for the channel, comment below, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support my efforts at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.